Hi guys, okay, we are here at the Goodwill Boutique in Palm Beach Gardens. So this is a store that they get a lot of kind of newer, um, more expensive type things. And we're gonna go in and check it out. I know that they don't have a lot of these all over the country. We have them here. I did buy a pocketbook one time for $7 that I flipped for $240, which is a great deal. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna see if we can find anything that we can either bring to eBay or bring to the auction because I know a lot of my viewers don't have these kind of stores and if I can find something at a really great price to flip for a profit, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's go in. Okay, so here we go. We walked in and I'm doing a voiceover because the music was playing really loud. First thing I pick up is this jar. Thought maybe it was hand blown. It's got a big crack on the top. This red flower really caught my attention. Unfortunately, it was lots of chips, $4.99, too much damage, but it was very, very pretty. This cute little boy and girl, they probably were handmade. Um, they look like handmade ceramics, painted ceramics, but they looked adorable. I saw these salt and pepper shakers and since salt and pepper shakers did so well for me, I always look for them to see if I can find something that's unique and unusual. Those seemed a little bit overpriced. This teapot caught my eye. I loved it. Um, it had a couple of small chips on it. I was hoping it was a Beatrix Potter. Um, it had FF on the bottom, $4.99. Price wasn't so bad but it did have some chips on the handle and I decided to just leave that one behind also. Always look for things with horses, but that just didn't really catch my attention so much. These caught my attention. These were adorable. I sold a set of these. They're made in Germany. They're monk um, little creamers. They were very cute. They were individually priced $6.99. I didn't think I could make much of a profit on those. I guess they could be mugs um, or creamers. I uh, thought about it again, looked at them, and yeah, they're from Germany. Um, I did really well with the ones that I had. Mine were uh, black and white. So just looking around to see if I can find anything special it seemed like there was a lot of very ordinary stuff. I went back to this teapot because I thought it was so cute. Thought about it for another minute and decided no. Also went back to this flower, that chip. I was thinking for personal use. It actually had two chips. And then I see the grapes. I had no idea what this was. It was very strange looking. It kind of like wanted to sit it up, but... No, it had to lay down. Maybe a bottle goes in that hole. I'm really not sure what that was, but I loved that it was grapes, but I left it behind. So we just keep moving along and came across this angel, but nothing was written on the bottom of it. So we left that behind as well. And... Just kind of ordinary houseware stuff, nothing too exciting. I thought perhaps this was one of those Yankee Candle lamps, but it wasn't. No name on it. I always pick up things with the Virgin Mother, but this was just made in China. It was just a porcelain, nothing really special again. But the price on it was pretty high, so I left it behind. These sushi dishes were $5.99. I really liked these. We eat a lot of sushi at home. My son and my husband both make homemade sushi, and I decided to take that um, to bring it home um, for the kids. I thought they would really enjoy those dishes. They were pretty. The rest of the stuff looked pretty ordinary to me, just sort of department store stuff. I didn't didn't really see much of anything that caught my eye. Lots and lots of 
just plain clear glassware. I was looking for perhaps some colored glassware. I'm just examining this once again, just to make sure there's no chips. I want to put it in my cart. Going back over to this other side, looking for unusual, something unusual, something different. The price was ripped off of that, so the price is ripped off to, off of something they won't sell it to you so there's no sense in even bringing it to the register i saw these salt and pepper shakers and i was thinking from my own personal use because believe it or not i didn't keep anything and i thought it was weird that they were marked 3.99 each why wouldn't they pack those together and sell them as a pair if someone buys one then there's only one left so i thought that was kind of weird left those behind always looking at flower pots because i love plants and i always look for unusual and different colorful flower pots but i left that one also behind nothing very exciting in the glassware i'm kind of in the dish department this also intrigued me. A dollar ninety nine. There was five of them. I just felt like they should have been packed together, so it was a whole set. I guess they do better selling them individually. Those pretty dishes. If that was a complete set, I would have considered that for the cottage. And here we have a lot of painted glassware. These amber colored mugs oh i liked these kind of regretting not getting them i loved how they had that 70s kind of look about them and there was six of them i might go back and get those i'm not sure i've been thinking about them this really kind of baffled me this was a little tray with fake cookies, $6.99 each. It had a little dip dish and fake cookies. So I picked up another one because I thought, oh, maybe it was mispriced, and it wasn't. $6.99 for that little resin dish with, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. I looked over at the mugs, um, just looking for personal use mug if I see one that catches my eye um but I didn't see anything just sort of ordinary department store mismatch um this one was kind of coffee before adulting I thought that was a really great size mug nice and big but again no price and if you bring an item to the register with no price they won't let you buy it so i had to put it back but i would have bought that for myself because it was a nice big coffee mug over here we have some pictures and i was looking for maybe some old pictures here's an old piece of ephemera framed they wanted $7.99. I loved the fruit and the watermelon. And it was really pretty. But again, $7.99 for a framed piece of ephemera was too much money. Veggie noodle. Hmm. Thought maybe that would be interesting to try. But I know I wouldn't try it. So I left it behind as well. Some Brita water pitchers I was thinking maybe getting one of these for the cottage refrigerator but they don't have the filters and there wasn't any filters on the shelf so I uh, decided to think about that as well some plastic bowls so far, to be honest, I'm not impressed. That was a pretty hand-blown. It didn't belong on that shelf with the plastic, but the top of it was chipped. So I always look for bottles for personal use. This was a Traverse tumbler. 
and it was Spider-Man. I did pick this up. I thought this was a really great cup. These can retail for anywhere between $20 and $30, and they are guaranteed for life. So if something does happen to it, you just send it into the company and they send you a brand new one. So it's really nice to buy something that has a lifetime guarantee. So, yeah, and we have so many Spidey lovers. I don't know if I'll keep that for myself or perhaps put it in a lot and bring it to auction. If anybody sees it and they want it, let me know because it's... Uh, it's really great. I love it. And it's in excellent condition, not a scratch on it. It's just missing the lid. And like I said, they're guaranteed for life. So that's a little 99 cent purchase, which is good. This treasure chest. Oh, the dominoes. Let's see if they're big light. We're going to give them the rub test and see if they have a smell. If not, I really love the treasure chest. And I was thinking perhaps buying it just for the treasure chest, but I walked away from it. This horse planter was beautiful. $14.99, but it was made of resin. So he was a beautiful horse. I don't know. Just wasn't impressed with him. After I saw it, here's uh, some bookends. Again, oddly enough, the bookends are marked two ninety nine each. So if someone buys one bookend, I guess someone else has to buy the other one, or you buy them both together. I don't understand why they wouldn't have these together. Um, but I thought that they were pretty, very nautical kind of beachy thought about it for a minute six dollars for the pair well I put them back let's see what's in this little box ooh silver let's see what does it say tarnish resistant Pretty silver. Well, they had stuff all over them. I don't know if it was wax or what it was. They were just too pricey. I'm not sure what that tray was. Here are some, I guess, votives. Clear glass votives, votive candles. And I thought they would be new, but surprise, surprise, they were all used. So, kind of pricey for all used candles. This was a rose candle. And, yeah, we'll go to the next style. Candlesticks, just silver plated. I don't know what this little thought maybe if you push the button the bell would ring but there was no bell now there you go there's a set for $14.99 brass anchors these were great um, but pricey I got my I got drawn to this really brightly colored um, Halloween house and it had a mechanism in it it was really cute, but, you know, nothing, nothing out of unusual, something that you would find at home goods. This plate was really pretty. The detail work on it was great. It was nine ninety nine, but nothing on the back. No manufacturer, no nothing. So I left that behind. Not finding very much stuff, unfortunately. You know, just like any Goodwill, it's hit or miss. But I do have to say that this Goodwill usually has nice things. So far, I'm not seeing anything that is out of the ordinary or fine. 
This was 1999. It's got the dual VHS and DVD player. Not a brand name though, just kind of a generic brand. I don't even know if the market is still hot on those. It was for a long time. I was gonna maybe dig through some of the utensils. Those look like they came from a restaurant. They were all the same. Pots and pans. I was looking for a stainless steel one for the cottage. Um, I wanted to show you this one had a lot of the non-stick peeling from it. Guys, if you have pans with non-stick peeling on them, get rid of them because that non-stick stuff that they put on pans once it starts to peel is not good for your body. I just bought a colander and I thought this was a better one, but it was rusty, so it was not stainless steel. So I put that back also. I liked these little stainless steel cups. I thought they were really cool, but ninety nine. they did have a set of four, but just a little too expensive. This area of the store has a lot of um, new unopened um, merchandise. So I just took a quick glance to see if there was anything here that's easily scanned and uh, with barcodes that can just be quickly put on eBay, but nothing really caught my eye and the prices were really expensive. This is a grommet plier, and there were some grommets in there. I don't know, just looked at it just to see what it was. I really wasn't interested in it. Wasn't interested in this either. Don't even know what it was. I picked it up and turned it around and didn't even read it. Did you see the air filter? So strange. Anyways, pillow. Hmm. For maybe sleeping on a plane? I wasn't impressed with the store today at all. This wreath was cute for Easter. It was made of resin though, nothing special, and it was pricey. I think it, can't remember what the price was on it. I didn't show it, but it was like $16.99, just much too expensive. They had just a lot of very ordinary things in the store today, nothing special. There's some crafts down there in the buckets down below. Some miscellaneous, don't know what that is. Just picked it up because it had Dottie all over it. Here's a kind of some sort of speaker system for an old iPod, which are basically obsolete these days. Nobody has them anymore, so that's probably gonna sit on the shelf for a long time. Then I found a box of Kleenex and I thought, ooh, I need some Kleenex for the bathroom. And I saw the price, $4.99. Hold on, wait a minute. Does this say just Kleenex on it and it's $4.99? Wait, is this just a box of Kleenex for $4.99? I was very confused. I'm going to look again. Kleenex, yes. Trusted care two ply tissue 230 sheets of kleenex all right they must have made a mistake 4.99 let me get another box there was three boxes so i reach up and i get another box and here we go nope they didn't make a mistake 4.99 am i missing something here are they special kind of kleenex i'm not sure walked away from that real quick very confused. Took a quick look at the lamps. Saw nothing. Okay, let's go over to the clothes. $14 for a pair of Izod jeans. Mm, yeah, these caught my eye. Pretty. $14. I uh, don't know the brand on them, so just walked away from those. $12. Miss Me Jeans for $12. Wow. So I guess anybody who is a reseller, chances of trying to make any kind of profit buying from 
a Goodwill, a Goodwill boutique. I, I don't see it. I don't know how people can flip stuff like they used to. So I just sort of walked away from the clothes and decided to look at pocketbooks. This one caught my eye, this coach. And it was in such bad shape. Even if they had $2 on it, I wouldn't have bought it. So I didn't even bother to take it down and look at the price because it was in such bad shape. Looked at the shoes real quick, looked at the prices, was shocked at what they were charging for shoes. Absolutely shocked used beat up shoes and used beat up pocketbooks this one here was a tommy hill figure tommy hill figure and it was all worn out i don't think it was leather and they were asking oh my gosh look it up how like i don't understand why they would think it would be okay to put something like that out on the floor. This Vera Bradley caught my eye because it was filthy, rotten, dirty. Dirty, 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 $9.99. I know that some of these can be washed, but it was very discouraging. Very discouraging. I don't know how people can spend hours and hours looking through thrift shops trying to hunt for just the right thing to buy to flip because after this little trip to an out not an outlet I'm sorry a boutique I was very disappointed now these I thought were so pretty and I thought hmm I think I'll buy these for displaying some of my jewelry putting in the background on display maybe somebody would like to buy one of these they're so beautiful to hang necklaces everybody has seen these they've been in you know different stores but I just thought that these two particular ones the colors on them were absolutely lovely so I decided to grab both of them and I have those so whether I sell them or keep them to use as display I'm not sure there's a beautiful abalone shelf, shelf, not shelf, sorry. <laughs> Some starfish. I don't know what that bear is all about. Nothing really great inside their showcases. It's actually rather boring. All right, here's the other showcase. Again, nothing very special. I guess things that they thought were special were in there. Some Hummels, which are pretty ordinary, pretty readily available. I decided to take a quick peek at the sunglasses. They were all fakes and junk, $2.99 each, all scratched. Just a bunch of promotional stuff. They had nothing worth of any value. The items in the back row, again, nothing. Those little cherubs were adorable. Some cameras, nothing exciting. So I decided to take a quick run back towards the back of the store walking past I looked at the linens really quick nothing the furniture which normally they have really beautiful furniture was very disappointing I thought this chair was pretty but the price on it was so high and this back room here which normally has lots of really great furniture was very bare very sparse and very disappointing they usually have a beautiful assortment of custom-made pillows um i was looking at this lamp 
for the cottage. I love the color of it. Kind of like a burnt red brick, but I didn't like the base. Um, it was fourteen ninety nine. I debated it for a minute. I need a little lamp for the desk, and but the base, I just didn't like the base. So decided not to get that. And took a quick peek at the pillows. This was a beautiful down pillow with a nice ruffle all around it. The price wasn't so bad, $4.99, but really don't have any use for that. And these pillows were really nice too, but I'm not a big fan of green and plaid. Left those behind. That was it. Saw this TV with the remote. $50, $49.99 for an old style TV with the VCR. I don't know. Have those become popular? Those big old style TVs? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what's going on in this Goodwill. Like I said, usually they have really beautiful things and I didn't just didn't see it today. Didn't see anything that was really beautiful. I thought these were kind of neat. Copper cars mounted on wood plaques. Thought those were kind of interesting. I liked those. Unusual. $9.99 each. I didn't like them very much too expensive. This was just a little resin house and I looked at this just because I love pansies. So I thought how cute. I'm always looking for little treasure boxes because when I do my dibble lots of my smalls I like to use a pretty box that I can include with the items and this happens to be a lane and these small lane boxes can be very collectible this one here was not in the best condition it had some scratches on it but for $3.99 I decided to take it and fill it with all kinds of little bit of dibble of this and a dibble bit of that There's that horse again, and we have pretty much gone through the store, and this was a beautiful carved wood tray, $3.99. Debated that for just a minute. Put that back. Back to the dominoes. I love this little treasure chest. Debated on getting that just for the treasure chest, and didn't. Well, folks, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this little quick trip to the Goodwill boutique store. Hopefully next time we'll find some nicer things. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up and we'll see you live. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.